hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x factorial is equals to 6 factorial multiplied by 7 factorial uh, this is a basic factorial math problem uh, so here we need to find all the values of x and at the last we will check that which of the values of x are uh, satisfied over a given question statement or which of these are uh, extraneous root okay so uh, here uh, first i can just little bit explain about the term factorial you very well know about that uh, the n factorial means that uh, we just multiply n up to uh, n times of n minus uh, 1 into n minus 2 and up to so on 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 so this is the factorial uh, definition of factorial if i can just give you some nice example of this problem you see here if you have 4 factorial this means that 4 multiplied by 3 times 2 times of 1 and in the same pattern if you have 3 factorial we write it as 3 times of 2 times of 1 so uh, this is the definition of factorial so according to this uh, we need to expand uh, both of these factorials into the right hand side so after applying uh, this definition of factorial our given question statement is written as first we have 6 factorial so 6 factorial equals to 6 times of 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times of 1 and it is multiplied by 7 factorial and when we expand second factorial it will be written as 7 times of 6 times of 5 times 4 times 3 2 times of 1 this is the uh, 7 factorial so now here we need uh, to focus um, into these terms uh, and here we just uh, we just again combine this 7 factorial and now you see here we have uh, so first we write uh, this is the 6 uh, term is 6 and we write it as 3 multiplied by 2 becomes here 6 and we have 5 4 3 2 and 1 and uh, here we have we write these uh, all of these terms as it is in this form 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 okay so the all of these terms are multiplied by each other here we need to rearrange the terms uh, so that we just uh, combine the terms 2 and 5 uh, we combine these terms 2 and 5 and we combine these 3 and uh, we combine first we combine these two terms we write it here we combine 3 and we write it here and after that we have this is 4 and 2 uh, we write these 4 and 2 here so we write again these are all of these terms as it is here it is 7 times of 6 times of 5 times 4 times 3 times of 2 times of 1 okay so here we need little bit simplifications here and now you see here 2 times of 5 becomes 10 and 3 times of 3 becomes 9 4 times of 2 becomes 8 and we write all of these values it is 7 times of 6 times of 5 times of 4 times of 3 times of 2 times of 1 and in the left hand side we have this is the our x factorial so if we focus into the given question statement you see here if you have 4 3 2 1 this is 4 factorial if you have n n minus 1 n minus 2 and so on 3 2 1 this is the n factorial which means that if you have uh, uh, and this is the first number though so it is the first it is that factorial okay so if, if this is 4 this is the 4 factorial if uh, the factorial is start from 3 this is the 3 factorial so according to this uh, here you see that this is starting from 10 it means that uh, this will becomes here 10 factorial uh, and now further you uh, we need to compare both of the sides so when you compare both of the sides you easily get the value of x is equals to 10 so this is the our final uh, uh, answer of this question and now here in the next step we need to verify this value of x and we will check that is this value of x is satisfied over 
given question statement or not so uh, for verification of this we first copy down the given question statement here it is x factorial equals to 6 factorial multiplied by 7 factorial this is the value of x and now here we put uh, the above value of x here so after substituting this it will be written as 10 factorial is equals to this is our 6 factorial multiplied by 7 factorial so here in order to verification of this we need to expand uh, the factorial on both of the sides so first we expand factorial in the left hand side so we uh, write it as this is 10 times of 9 times of 8 times of 7 factorial here i can just break this 10 factorial up to 7 factorial it is equals to 6 factorial multiplied by 7 factorial and you see here the 7 factorial and 7 factorial are gone and we will get here this is uh, 10 times of 9 times of 8 is equals to this is 6 factorial and when we expand the 6, six factorial it will be written as 6 times of 5 times of 4 times of 3 times of 2 times of 1 so here we need uh, to focus into the right hand side so this is our 6 we write it as 3 times of 2 becomes 6 and we have this is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times of 1 so here we need to uh, uh, rearrange the terms uh, and here we need to multiply this 2 with this 5 and you see here 2 times of 5 becomes 10 and uh, uh, from here these are th this 3 is multiplied by this 3 and we get here 3 times of 3 becomes 9 so we get the remaining two values are this is 4 and 2 so we multiply 4 and 2 and we get here 8 and at the last we will get here 1 only and in the left hand side we have this is uh, 10 times of 9 times of 8 and now you see here uh, this 10 is cancelled out by this 10 this 9 is cancelled out by this 9 8 is cancelled out by this 8 and we get here our 1 is equals to 1 so this shows that the value of x is equals to 10 is satisfied our given question statement this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos